a 1973 Chevy Nova uh, this Nova is very very clean as you guys can see so we're gonna be doing a walk around so that you guys can see how awesome this car is now this is a car that obviously a lot of people wouldn't know what's under the hood by just looking at the outside but it's really gonna shock you um, one of the things about this car is that it's so fun to drive um, just alone today, uh, the weather is about uh, 101, we're in Los Angeles, and we've already driven the car a little over four hours, and temperatures are normal inside the car, uh, it's very clean, as you can see, um, a lot of detail on this car, hood pins, uh, it's got the stripes, and as you can see, it's got these really nice rev wheels it's got disc brakes in the front slotted drilled and as we walk into the car uh one of the neat things is that you don't really see these manual windows anymore uh so this car in its time came with manual windows in the front and it's also got manual windows in the back and just check out the upholstery on this awesome vehicle and as you could see there that's that is a momo racing steering wheel look at these seats extremely clean look at the rear here and here is this manual window with their smaller turns and as i go around here you're also going to notice that the hood is extremely clean. So if I pull back these carpets, there's nothing that you could see where it identifies that it has any rust. So it's a really clean vehicle. Um, the moment uh, I close this, just, just look at the back of this car. It looks really sexy. You look at them plates, it's never at zeros. Um, these these tires in the back are really awesome. They're the, the Nitto NT01 tires. These things are super slicks. It's got the exhaust down there. It's got dual exhaust down there. And um, I'm telling you, the builder took a lot of time to build this all the matching numbers on the VIN and the dials look almost factory there. They're the Dakota Digital. Uh, this wheel here looks very nice with the entire setup here. 
I don't know about some of you guys out there, but looking at your transmission temperature is very important. And so this car stays really cool between 125 and 150. It's got a tranny cooler. And as we walk around it, uh, it's got its rear view mirrors. And uh, it is uh, staggered wheels, as you can see. Wheels in the back are a lot bigger. It gives it that nice stance. And as we move closer into this engine, man, didn't they do an incredible job in here? Look at this high flow air filter. It's got all these great things that are modern technology. And it's almost as if this is how they made this car. So as I walk away from it, now you could understand why we drive this car so much. Uh, it doesn't give up. You could drive this car for five hours, 10 hours, 20 hours, and it stays cool. And if you didn't catch the back, the back also has drill slotted brakes. Uh, what's great about these uh, brakes is that when it stops, it's, it's, it's modern drivetrain. The entire thing is so clean. And as we walk around here, one thing that we're gonna do is we wanna definitely have you listen to the exhaust. So let me go in the bottom of the car. And what I'm gonna do is show you what it sounds like when it's being turned on. car what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go in for a little small cruise so that you could you could see what it feels like when you're in the driver's side of this awesome car here it's got great view you could see everything around you. You make a right, you make a left. Look at these wheels. this car is it, it doesn't give up you're gonna see it be gassed right now just a little more than usual um, there is a, a short film here where we kind of showed you the power of this car man this thing pulls back like you wouldn't believe so all right guys well I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we will now show you uh, what it looks like on the road at higher speeds.